Now that we've established how beneficial it is to plan future testing from the beginning of the development process, let's discuss how and the who of testing. Depending on your company, there are several different options for testing your user stories. If you're using test-driven development, then the test logic is coded for the program logic. This style of development and testing tends to be very code-focused and technical. So some companies prefer business-driven development. This is a testing framework that relies on terms understandable by the user, rather than the technical terms that the development team might use. The style of testing is more understandable to the stakeholders who aren't familiar with code. The stakeholders have a stronger understanding of what is being tested and whether the developed feature fulfills their expectations of how it should work. Finally, your team might consider acceptance test-driven development. This is a blend of both test-driven development and behaviour-driven development and focuses on meeting established acceptance criteria. Acceptance test-driven development is more technical than behavior-driven development. But the testing process is still easily understood by the customers. Any of the above options are a viable choice for your team and will add value to your development process. It just depends on what your company and team would like to focus on and how they prefer to work through the development process.